We're a nation surrounded by water and a nation of people who love to be in water. Every weekend it's a river lime or a beach lime, but we never realize how much we're putting ourselves and others in danger by not knowing how to swim. Every year, drownings are splashed across the headlines. The stories are almost formulaic. A person goes in for a swim, gets into difficulty, and goes under, never to resurface. Over the past three years, the Coast Guard has conducted an average of two to three search and rescue missions every month. Most times it's a search, but no rescue. Right, swimming is not something to play with, or the inability to swim is not something you should take for granted. The sea has no branches, as you probably have heard many a times. Often we hear the family members saying that the victims were good swimmers, but were they really? Jason Samuel has been a swimming coach for 20 years. He says too often people think they can swim, but they lack the proper technique. They never learned the art of the kick, the science of the stroke, and the basics of breathing with trained instructors, which could make the difference between life and death. Because people don't know the technique of swimming, and it's all about a technique. You have to know the proper way. You have to know what to do in case of emergency, and we, we teach all that here at the world. But why haven't some people even attempted to learn? Sometimes it's a genuine fear of the water or a bad experience early in life. The average swim class costs about $200, which may factor in in some cases, and the inability to get to a pool can also hamper development. But very often, we get in our own way, suffering from a case of inflated egos. Self-esteem. Because, you know, most, because I've had people who have come and joined classes, and they're like, well, for, um, could we do like a class, like one-on-one? -on -one? And, you know, most of them are very self-conscious because, you know, if they make a mistake, and if people laugh at them, they'll feel bad and they won't want to come back. So motivation, um, encouragement as well, and that is the key, especially as an instructor when you're teaching anybody to swim. Most times it's the men who avoid traditional swim classes. And while the children's classes share equal representation of the sexes, the adult classes are attended mainly by women and flight attendants. The instructors say it's never too late or too early to learn how to swim. People have experimented with teaching their newborn babies how to swim. They're naturally inclined to hold their breaths underwater, a skill acquired from their time in the womb. But if you're not that adventurous, it's okay to wait a few more years, at least until they're four or five. Let them be acquainted with the water. Let them get a, 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 accustomed to that environment. You know, a, 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 instead of just you carrying them to the sea and you yourself don't know how to swim. So if you can't swim, it's advisable never to venture deeper than waist high. And if you can swim, don't be too adventurous. Always swim parallel to the shore instead of swimming out to sea. And of course, mixing swimming and alcohol is never recommended. Remember the life that you save could be your own. Kijan Haynes, C News.